I talk a lot about spiritual direction, but one of the things I haven't talked about is what to expect when you meet with a spiritual director. What's that really like? So today I want to describe a little bit about what it's like to work with a spiritual director. As I do that, please subscribe to this channel and like the video. Thanks. Spiritual direction is an ancient practice that's found in all spiritual and religious traditions. It's a very simple concept that someone seeks out a person who is known for having experience in the spiritual dimension in life through their, their own spiritual practice or through uh, the things that they do, that, that, that they're known to embody spirituality in the spiritual dimension of life. And so individuals seek them out to learn more, to understand their own spiritual journey. So that is found in, in all traditions in different ways. But today we sort of see this as this term of spiritual direction that some people also call spiritual companionship. Spiritual directors are trained. Uh, they're, they're often, they often go through internships to really work in spiritual direction. Uh, so that they have some credibility and skill and ability to work with you in an effective way. Spiritual direction is really about helping you integrate the spiritual dimension of your life. And that's really the first main reason that people come for spiritual direction. Um, uh, many people will come because they're interested in the spiritual dimension of their life. It may be that they want to learn more about a spiritual practice or how to integrate spiritual practices in their life, or they've been doing some spiritual practices and they feel like they've plateaued, or they're wondering more about integration of spirituality with other aspects of their life, like work or relationships. Or perhaps they're really beginners. Someone has told them about spirituality and they think maybe this is something for me and I want to be more intentional about it. So for them, it's, it's more like getting someone to help them from the beginning. There are also people who have been, been hurt or abused by religion or in a spiritual group who are seeking out a spiritual director that can help sort them out to hold on to what is good while they get rid of the, the pain and the hurt. So that's one big group of people who come for spiritual direction. Another big group of people who come for spiritual direction are people who I'll say are in discernment. Maybe they're trying to understand what they're called to be uniquely in life, or they're looking for a sense of purpose or meaning in their life. Or maybe they're part of the, the vast group of people who during the pandemic have decided that they don't want to do the work they've been doing anymore. They want to do something that's nurturing and fulfilling for themselves but they also want to be responsible financially. And so spiritual direction is a way to discern those next steps. That's looking at more than just job placement, but looking at who you are and where you really fit in life and where work fits in your life. That's a discernment kind of issue. So those are the two big categories of people who come to spiritual direction. There are other folks too, but, but those are, are mostly that's where most people are. When you initially meet with a spiritual director, what you'll probably find is that the spiritual director will likely want to spend some time at the beginning of the session to, to sort of get centered. Maybe it's having a few moments in silence. Maybe it's having a prayer. Maybe it's doing some little thing to help bring focus into the time. A typical session in spiritual direction is about an hour. Maybe it's going to be 50 minutes or an hour and 10 minutes, but it'll be about an hour. Uh, and we're talking about individual spiritual direction. There is group spiritual direction, but I'm not going to talk about that today. This is working one on one with the spiritual director. Uh, spiritual direction is sort of a fee for service. Uh, most spiritual directors have some sort of fee. Most spiritual directors also have a sliding fee basis. So if income is an issue for you, there'll they'll probably be a way to work around that. Some spiritual directors have, have specialties. They work with dreams, you know, and they'll tell you when you initially call them that the work they do is really dream related. 
A number of spiritual directors today use an inventory called an Enneagram. It's, it's a personality inventory that's similar to the Myers-Briggs. The assumption with the Enneagram is that based on how you score in the Enneagram will give some indicator of the role spirituality plays in your life. I don't use uh, the Enneagram and I don't do dream analysis. I, I'm more traditional and, and look from the perspective of understanding someone's personal history and where they've experienced times of wholeness, of insight, of spiritual moments, of fulfillment and in the past, and really wanting to look at how we can build on that for the future. Because I think the way we move into the future is influenced a lot by what we've experienced in the past. Uh, so that, that's my perspective. Um, in terms of identifying a spiritual director, finding somebody that you can see, well, of course, you can always send me a note in, in the chat or a private message, or you can go to the professional organization of spiritual directors, Spiritual Directors International, Spiritual Directors International. And there you'll find a lot of information about spiritual direction. You'll find a referral source. They have a guide for, for uh, getting a referral. They also uh, have standards for spiritual direction that include things like a code of ethics and opportunities for training and, and things like that. Uh, so there is, uh, you know, sort of a professional element to spiritual direction. Above all, what's important to know is that spiritual direction is, is about your spiritual direction. So that in the session, the spiritual director will ask you questions and ask you to reflect on your life and try to help you make connections for you. There may be some recommendations like reading a book or trying something. But it's really important that you honestly critique whether it's something helpful for you or not, uh, because this is really about you. It isn't about trying to solve a problem. It's about helping you to support your growth, your wholeness. Thanks for your time today. If you're wondering, one of my regular subscribers recommended that I talk more specifically about spiritual direction. So if you're interested in me talking about something in particular, please be sure to, to leave a note or send an email or do something like that, and I'll do my best to address that. Thanks for your time. Again, subscribe, like the video, share it with others, and have a really great day.